Well, howdy. Glad you're here. I'm, I'm glad I'm anywhere. So, I am staying at the rental property that I manage. Um, it's a really cool place. It's like a big castle. And um, the people who own it, who I work for, for the last 10 years, uh, they like it when I kind of hang here. They would rather have this place uh, occupied um, and monitored, if you will, uh, instead of it just sitting empty alone by itself in the woods. So, uh, you know, I, I look at it as a, a little vacation. Uh, and I only live down the road, but... And I live in a trailer park. I'm not going to tiptoe around it. I'm not going to call it the, the manufactured housing community. It's a freaking trailer park. And I don't like it. Why? It's a nice trailer park. It's a nice trailer park. The neighbors are decent. It's clean. It's neat. It's small. It's quaint. The management... They're jacking up the rent, the lot rent. Um, when I moved in there, it was under $300 a month. It's getting real close to $500. And within the next year or so, it will be $600 and beyond. Because our society sucks. It sucks the big ragu. So, <laughs> I'm thinking about moving. Yeah, and I know you know. If you're watching my videos, I know you know. So today I was watching uh, a friend of mine, or I should say a subscriber of mine, who lives up in Canada. And um, her videos are somewhat mm, a bummer. Uh, and she even admits it, that there's a lot of negativity in her stuff. And I'm thinking, well, if you live in Canada and your winters are so long and so cold and your summers are so short, and I know your country is beautiful, but you have no escape to lower, you know, hemispheres, latitudes, latitudes, <laughs> changes in latitudes, changes in attitudes. So they're kind of stuck up there in the hinterlands. And uh, see, I, I, I have the ability to go where it's warmer uh, and still be a U.S. citizen. She is Canadian and she can't stay in our country very long. Maybe she doesn't want to. But it's like it's like sundowners. It's like, you know, you don't get enough sunlight. You got to have that sunlight. You got to activate that vitamin D. <laughs> so I'm thinking about, you know, living here in northern Michigan. It's, it's no different than southern Canada. I mean, it's cold. It's cold and the winters are long and there's blah, blah, blah. And I want to get out of it. So if I sell my home and I sell off my big furniture and I get myself a nice camper and run around the country uh, with it attached to the back of my truck, will I be able to do that successfully? I hope so. But for for uh, 20 years, I've been living somewhat very blissfully, um, and, and it's something that I haven't uh, experienced because the prior 40 years of being in relationships and worrying about my girlfriend or wife and then children and then bills and then chores and jobs and nobody helping out with anything, it was, it was a constant weight on my shoulder. Durs. And um, it took a couple of years after that last divorce um, to push that stuff off and go, dude, you're alive, you're living, you're making the bills, you're, uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You are responsible for you and nobody else. And it was awesome, and I loved it. Yay me! But now... Um, my job of 10 years uh, managing this beautiful castle is coming to an end. And I'm worried now. It's uh, the weight is starting to settle back down. And am I going to be able to be houseless? Can I exist? It's scary. It's very scary. And I don't like the feeling. I don't like the constant concern of uncertainty. 
I'm going to miss my friends. I've been here quite a while. I've made some really good friends. The last time I left, it was under different circumstances, and I came back relatively quickly. But uh, when I go this time, after a year or more of planning to make this escape, you know, I'm, I'm going to miss my friends, and, and I'll probably have to figure out a way to come back here and visit them. So um, I just wanted to throw some thoughts out there. I didn't put a video out in a while. And this morning, I'm going to uh, do some chores around the property here, burn up some more uh, deadfall from the trees, from the windstorm. My God, we had a windstorm a few days ago, and the yard is a mess again. There are trees down. I got to cut them up, got to burn them up, got to get them out of here. Wouldn't be prudent if you didn't. So anyway, uh, that's about all I have for my silly little Dr. Kayak channel. And look, it is the beginning of April. It's April 8th. And uh, I don't even know what's... Let me look on the computer here real quick. I'll tell you what the temperature is outside. It was 32 yesterday morning. No, it was 30. It was 30 degrees yesterday morning. So what? what is it today? Okay, we'll click on the weather channel here. And, and it is... It's a balmy 43 degrees. So I can get out there and get to work early. However, uh, let's see. Today... We have a 30% chance of showers before 8 a.m. and then becoming partly sunny with a high near 62. East wind around 15 miles an hour becoming south in the afternoon. But tonight, another 30% chance of showers mainly after 2 a.m. Mostly cloudy with a low around 42. West wind around 5 miles an hour becoming southwest. <laughs> I should be a weather guy. Okay, thank you for checking out my channel today. Please hit the subscribe button, please. I just want to know that you're out there and that I may have a real friend somewhere in the world. Take care. This is all. This is me saying bye-bye.